Hi, this is Kamal Kenyatta, webmaster for WGOLV.com. And I am presenting here a few tutorials on how to make a post in the website so that you know exactly what is what. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to go to this page here, the login page for WGOLV.com. And to get there, you simply go into your browser bar and type in WGOLV dot com slash WP hyphen admin and click enter and that will take you to the well it'll take you back to this page here of course uh, you put in your username and your password my username is already saved so you click you type that in and click log in and that will take you to the desk the dashboard and the dashboard is where everything gets done in WordPress. You're concerned primarily with the menu over here, and particularly posts. When you go over or, or put your cursor over the word posts, you will see a sub menu that comes out all posts, add new categories and tags. So uh, all posts will simply take you to all the posts that have been posted in the website. And you can go in here and edit uh, your material. For example, if you're working on a post and you're not finished with it or you want to come back to it at a later date, you can save it as a draft and you can come back in and complete it or edit it. The, the, now, in order to po make a post, there are two things, or there's two ways in which you can make a post. One, you can go here and add, click add new, or you can go over here on the post and click add new and they'll take you to the same place. So we'll go from here and this will take us to the post page. You'll know that you're on the new post page because it'll say add new post. And the first thing you want to do is enter your title. Uh, title. And you want to make sure that your title is something that's interesting, interesting, that's catchy, and that includes keywords that you want to use because that's important in terms of the search engines. This yellow icon here, you want to completely ignore it. Beneath that, you will see the Add Media menu. That takes you over to the Media Library. And in the Media Library, you will see all of the photos, uh, images that are in the library. You can use them as you choose. If you do not have an image or find an image in the library, you can add your own images by going over here to Upload Files. And there's two ways to upload a file. One, you can click Select Files here and you can go to the file that you want to add to the library from your computer. The second way is to simply drop, dra drag and drop the image right into the space here and it will load it in. Below the Add Media menu you will see the Formatting menu and this is very similar to a word processing or uh, Microsoft Word processing uh, format. It has the bold, the italics, the alignment, uh, you can change the colors of your font. Here you're concerned with your headings. Uh, your title heading that you place in here, you want to make sure that it is a, um, let's see, a H1 tag. So you simply put it in here and highlight it and click H1 and you can see that it becomes an H1 tag or title tag. If you want to change the color on it, you can add color to it. Um, you can center it on the page. Then go left. Um, this basic formatting information that's here. Now, over on the right side of the page is where you publish your material. If you are doing a draft or you are writing a post and you're not completed, finished with it yet, or you're working on it, save it as a draft. It'll save it, and then you can click preview to see your post, to see what it looks like actually on the site without being on the site. And you can continue to go back and forth with that. You edit it, go back, save the draft. Now, when you're ready to publish it for all the world to see, you click this button right here, this blue button, publish. Below that, you'll see the categories. It's important when you make a post or write a post that you add a category and only one category. Now there is one exception to this which I'll go over later. So if you're writing about 
something that's happening in Allentown, you would choose that category or click that category or check that category. If you're writing something about uh, Easton, uh, you would click that category. If you're writing something about music, you would click this category or sports and so on. Only one post. It's very, very important. Below that, you will see the search engine Yoast uh, information. I'll go over this on one tutorial alone. Further down the right hand side of the page, you'll see where you can add tags. And you can add any number of tags that go with your particular post. You add it here. Um, and you'll see that they show up here. If you want to get rid of it, you just delete it like that. Uh, this you're not concerned with the extra settings. Uh, when you write your post, most of your posts are going to be in a standard format. If you're just doing a video or audio post, then you would click one of these to uh, to indicate that. The featured image is a feature where you can have an image on the top of your post, as opposed to when you put a post in here, uh, an image in here. It will. Um, it will show on the top. The featured image will show on the top of your your uh, post. So that's an introduction to the dashboard and how you get around with it and how certain things work. See you in the next tutorial.